What is up my friends? It's your girl Lucky Jen and I hope you guys are ready to get wet. Today I'm taking you into the beautiful blue waters of the Bahamas so we can hunt for some gold, silver, and who knows what else. I'll be using my Deus 2 metal detector and I'll have links in the description for all the gear you see me using. So if you've got any questions, just pop down there and check it out. If you guys are ready, let's get going. Okay guys, I've got my first signal of the day and you know I like to share that with you. So I've got an 80, 81. Now the odds are pretty good that's gonna be a dime, but. All right. Let's see if our pinpointer can get it. Nope. All right, we'll move some sand and see if it can get it then. So I know um, some of you are gonna wonder why I'm using my prospecting shovel, my gold prospecting shovel, but um, I didn't wanna try and bring my big sand scoop through like customs and all that mess. So I just went light. Boy, still nothing, are you on? Yep. <laughs> Finally getting in the vicinity here. The humidity here in the Bahamas is really something. Um, so soon I'm gonna go hunt in the water to cool off. Hopefully find some gold. Oh, I see something green. Here we go. Something heavy. Oh, it's a key. <laughs> So our first target of the day was a big old green metal key. We'll keep going. Okay guys, X marks the spot. Right here I've got a 75. I like numbers in the 75s because sometimes that's jewelry. So let's see what we got. Okay, pinpointer is getting it. So maybe not too deep. ocean. He's going to try to claim it before I can. We got it. Oh, here we are, I think. Oh, it's another key. <laughs> I'm the key queen today. All right, guys, latest find here. I just got it out. Um, this was ringing up a 70, so I haven't cleaned it off yet to see what it is, other than I can tell that it definitely is a ring. Um, and it was a solid 70. Um, well, looks like it might have some kind of stones or something all the way around. Let's grab our uh, toothbrush and see if we can clean this off a little bit and tell a little more about it, huh? Probably just costume. Not sure. I don't know. Let's grab Sherlock. He'll be very salt watery. <laughs> So I don't know if he'll help us much. You know guys, it actually does look like that there is some writing on the inside of the band. Yeah, there definitely is writing on the inside of the band. Uh, All right folks, latest signal here is a uh, 87. As you can see, it's in the wave zone. So, I'm gonna try to mark this with my shovel so I can get my detector out of the way. real quick. See if we can find it. There we got it. Now we're just going to try and slide our scoop under it. Nope, we did not get it. Okay, try again. Missed it. Where did it go? 
feel like I'm moving it. I am moving it. Okay, we got it. Whew. Here we got it. Oh no, it's another half of one of those keys. Like the other one I found, look at that. Geez, there sure are a lot of those. <laughs> Okay guys, right here where this footprint is, I have a 76. We're gonna see if the pinpointer can get it. Um, you know I like 77. That's like one of my favorite numbers to dig. Um, so we'll see what the 76 proves to be. All right, we are not initially getting it. Let me try to pinpoint it down. Okay, right there. Looks like where we need to move some sand. Oh, there's some coral right there. Oh geez, don't tell me it's like under this big chunk of coral. It might be, y'all. Or in it, that would be my luck. It's like embedded in this coral or something. I may not get this one guys. <laughs> Look at that. It's just a big solid piece of something. I just keep wondering if it might be at the, the edge of it somehow. But pinpointer sure is not getting it. Oh wait, here we go, we can move it maybe. Here we go. Now let's see. Right there. All right, we got it, maybe. Another piece of coral. Oh, there it went. Look, it's something green. Wow, it's like a really thick wafer. So it must have been there quite a long time under that big piece of coral. We'll have to clean that up and see what it might be. Okay guys, right here um, by this rock, I've got a 93. Probably a quarter, but we'll see. Let me uh, set my detector down out of the wave zone. And let's see if the pinpointer can get it. sure okay so right in here somewhere but I guess we have to move some sand because it's not picking it up oh there it is I see it are you even on no wonder it's not picking it up <laughs> but there it is we got another quarter so, all right, we'll keep going. So I just want to show you guys, I'm in this area, it's like really a rocky area with lots of coral. Um, and I'm getting a lot of signals here, so I think, you know, things might get trapped. Um, anyway, my latest signal here, it was a 65. Um, and this is kind of interesting, like, it seems like it would be a coin of some kind, like the way the edges and stuff are, but it's square. So I really don't know what that's going to be it'll be fun um, to clean this up and have a look in the wrap up and see what this actually is but that's super interesting so um, i'm going to hunt this area for a little bit it's a little challenging because i'm fighting the waves but i've had um, a few coins already so far maybe there'll be a ring in this okay guys i just got my latest scoop up onto the beach and i thought i saw the edge here it was going to be a coin but check it out i think i got a ring but it must be like a really old ring because look at it's green oh how cool is that yeah i think i can see a little there's a pattern to it so we just got a really green ring so i don't let's see there's some water let's see if we can rinse it 
So I don't know, it could be a, a copper ring or maybe silver. Well, that's not a very good number there. Let's keep going and see what else we can get. Okay, there's us, uh, it's bouncing 87 to 88 right there. Let's try to hold it for just a second. And we'll move our detector. And let's try to get it pinpointed. Here. Bet you guys didn't know you were going to get super wet today at this hunt, but... Anyway, I hope you're having fun in the uh, beautiful Peruvian Sea with me. if we're going to get this one. It looks like there's a, a, a big rock or a coral right where I think my target is at. Okay, there it is. I got it. <laughs> we are right on it if we can just get it. coin I think wow it's really thick look at that it's like <laughs> coral has grown onto it I think you guys look maybe it's like a really awesome old coin or it almost looks like it could be two coins it's really thick and really green so we're gonna have to try and chip some of this away see if we can tell what that is pretty cool huh Okay guys, here I just drew this little slash. I've got a 85. We're gonna see if the pinpointer can pick it up. Yeah, all right, we got it. Right here. Oh, it's okay. Hitting something there. I hope that something isn't like a big can. I don't think so, but I just got a ring pretty close to here, so. Um, oh man, that is like in there, whatever it is. Maybe just a big piece of coral in the way of my target. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's see if I can move that out. My target might have been like under it or something. There we go. So this technique is working pretty well of just keeping my pinpointer on whatever it is and trying to um, lift it in the scoop. I missed it that time, but... Um, that's working pretty good. Adapt and overcome, right? Oh, I think I've got another big piece of coral, maybe. I don't know. Or it could be my target. Holy frioli. <laughs> it's a huge bolt. Well, all right, we'll keep going. I guess you take the bolts with the rings, right? All right, I'm just gonna leave you guys on and let you kinda go with me here for a minute while we uh, keep hunting. Now 
Now right there where that was, see that? There still is an 87. So I don't think the bolt was actually the target. I think our target is actually still in there, if you can believe it. So let's try again. Let's get our pinpointer back out. Try again. Alright, there it is. Still in there. Oh, we're having to really work for whatever this is. I hope it's something good. Oh, I keep losing it. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's a piece of fence to go with it. All right, I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> we'll keep going. This is probably um, one of the most fun spots I have found to hunt. Um, and it's interesting because of the different equipment. I've had to come up with a different sort of way to hunt here. But been fun this part of the beach um i pretty much had it to myself for quite a while now there's a bunch of people coming down but check this out guys can you see this it's like a uh, people have took all the corals and rocks and they've made all these little statues it's like a little rock garden and then up on top of the trees someone has carved them into, into people so this is like a super interesting little spot and um, definitely fun place to hunt There's a 7980, maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, pinpointer doesn't like whatever it is. Or it's just super deep. Let's try to pinpoint it on this. Okay, right there. So let's see if we can move a little sand and maybe get our target. Okay. Uh-oh, I feel something catching my scoop. But... Oh, here we go. And looks like it's gonna be another coin of some kind. I think. I think a coin. Kind of seems like it's got a something here. It makes me wonder if it could be something other than a coin. Hmm. Let's walk to the water. And just see if we can clean this off and tell. It's, it might be like a pendant almost with that little edge on it. Okay. Or it should just be a really corroded coin. It's hard to say. What do you guys think? Can you see that? Lots of interesting finds here. Alright my friends, here is the wrap up for my hunt in the Bahamas. Um, as you guys can see, I did actually have lots and lots of finds, um, tons and tons of coins, and most of the coins were American coins from the 60s and 70s. Um, I would say of the coins that I could read the date on, probably 90% of them were from the 60s or 70s. So kind of makes you wonder if they've actually been there a long time. Um, anyway, so I have two rows of quarters. Check out the corrosion, you guys. I mean, it's like eating through <laughs> um 
just three nickels and then um, two rows of dimes and then all of these pennies and again guys I just got to show you check this out this this is a penny um, you can just barely make out part of the memorial there on the back look at how thin that is so I don't know if maybe because the sand there in the Bahamas is a lot coarser um, maybe it does more damage to things um, anyway I did actually have some jewelry I got this little pendant um, it's just costume you can see a little bit of copper under the silver plating there and then on the rings um, this one the gold colored one ended up the inside of it reads Kendra Scott so a designer but not not gold looks like it had maybe little hearts there um, and then the other ring I got I think it was maybe a plated ring that the plating has worn off of um, anyway um, had of course two and a half keys and then I did get some foreign coins um, this is a Bahama coin as is this one and then this one with the little starfish on it it's a Bahamian penny and then this is a pence like a English pence and then I have one, I think it's this one. It's got a crown and a three on it. I'm not really sure what it is, but definitely not an American coin. And then this little guy, not an American coin either, but I can't really make out what it is. So, um, oh yeah, I had a little jewelry bead there too. And then um, this is the big wafer you saw me find. Um, did get it broke open and it had super thin coins in there check those out you can't tell a thing about them just totally eaten um let's see oh i did have this other big wafer you saw me find um despite soaking it and kind of scrubbing at it as you can see it is still heavily encrusted so if you guys have any tips or tricks on getting that level of encrustation off I'd love to hear what you guys think um, and then the last one that I think is kind of maybe the most interesting is this one that I thought might be a pendant um, I can see some bits of silver there but I, I haven't been able to get it cleaned up enough to tell what it is but the thing I think is interesting about it is almost everything else has a green patina to it but that one has a black patina so I definitely am curious to see what it is um, but I have to figure out a way to get all that crusty stuff off so anyway I um, hope you guys enjoyed hunting in the Bahamas with me and until I see you guys again next week on another beach I wish you guys the best of luck and happy hunting <music>